Hey there, Wondering Watchers. I'm Sony Golden for The Vibe is Golden. Welcome to this edition of Tabloid Tarot, where we unveil celebrity news stories that might hit the tabloids next and dig into old scandals that still cause a stir. In today's Tabloid Tarot, we're taking a peek at the future love life of a BTS member. We are tossing the future spouse of BTS's Chung Ho Sok, aka J-Hope, into the spotlight to be Tabloid Tarot. So let's see what message we have for J-Hope from his future spouse. Okay, so we have here the Silver Waterfall. Hina, Courage. Wheel of Fortune. And Cow Spirit. The miracles are endless. So here, this message of miracles being endless, it's a sense of J-Hope's future spouse letting him know that um, not to give up for what he wishes for or what he wants. Um, with this Wheel of Fortune, it's a sense of things are always going to be changing and they're destined to be together and to keep in mind this concept of miracles being endless. So if there's a point in his life where he's feeling that um, he's just kind of riding the ups and downs of life to kind of make sure that he is kind of centered, that he is has that like uh, abundant mindset and recognize the miracles are all around. Um, with this Hannah Courage card, it's as if J-Hope's future spouse is um, kind of letting him know that um, basically that, you know, they're fated to meet. And when that happens kind of has to do with when she um, steps into her own courage, uh, being more perhaps independent, um, kind of uh, stepping out beyond what she's used to kind of trusting herself a bit more and with this silver waterfall here it's a sense of she needs to be able to be at that point so she can um really be able to make herself happy and not necessarily rely on him um and also to be able to kind of not only check in with herself, but to help him, to take care of him, to let him know when he needs a break, when he needs um, to release and cleanse and um, find happiness in his life. But I feel with this, the miracles are endless and the, the silver waterfall, um, got all these kind of flowers going on here. I feel like their connection um, is very much going to going to make it so that they help each other grow and find find happiness beyond that which they thought was possible before so let's get some cards to find out more characteristics of j-hope's future spouse we have Mature, Messy, Soft Features, and Serious. Okay, so with this Mature card, I get that J-Hope's future spouse might um, not necessarily be older than him, but I feel this is going to be um, like this kind of point in time where his future spouse kind of has independence and uh, can step into her own courage and step outside of what she knows. She's going to be, um, have like, it's going to be later in life for the both of them and she's going to be like more mature she wants to like here with this silver waterfall 
She wants to be able to take care of herself, her own emotions, her happiness, but also wants to be able to take care of J-Hope. So um, a sense of really um, not being a child, but very, this card of Sirius, I feel it's like very determined to um, kind of be, be their own person. So with this messy card here, I don't necessarily think they're messy. I think it is that concept of um, being confident to move outside of what they know, to step into their courage, to kind of um, do things that are um, not necessarily staying within the lines, with you know, not staying within their own lane, but expanding more and not, not afraid to take risks to make a mess, um, especially when they are um, trying to take care of themselves and to take care of other people. With this a soft features card, I get the sense that you know this future spouse is going to um, you know be cute, but shouldn't be um, underestimated the cuteness of his future spouse. Um, I get a sense that looks are deceiving and this concept of mature and serious, people might might underestimate um, J-Hope's future spouse. I'm gonna put this over here. So let's get some tarot cards here to find out about the story or journey of J-Hope's future spouse. We have here the Queen of Cups. So J-Hope's future spouse is going to be someone who is nurturing, is caring, um, emotionally connects with people. Um, and this card of like, this card of courage here, it's almost a sense of being so empathetic, at least with the Queen of Cups, being so empathetic and emotionally connected to people that, um, she cares about that this courage is needed to really um, take on other people's problems and still find the ability to take care of herself. Cups are associated with the element of water and so are queens. So very, very much um, feminine energy, uh, double water receptive and very... Um, well, it's making me think of this silver waterfall. So just being around this person is, um, they have the ability to really light someone up and help them be in a place of happiness. And in the process, they might be taking on some uh, residue, like more negative residue of other people's energy. So I feel like this courage um, is a sense of kind of, J-Hope's future spouse being able to, to take that on, to um, be there for others, to be so connected emotionally and kind of um, risk, risk her own happiness and stability in the process. We have here the Eight of Wands. So J-Hope's future spouse is someone who um, I feel like is constantly um, trying to reach goals, setting new goals for herself. I want to say like this concept of the miracles are endless. It's because part of her journey is um, reaching goals that you know she previously didn't think were possible, and in a sense of like understanding that sometimes the end result um, isn't necessarily the best part of the journey. Like the outcome isn't the best part of it, but just being in the moment, just kind of um, that kind of drive to see, you know, what's possible, like the sense of um, potential, almost a sense of like, I feel that this person is um, not just enthusiastic, but, um, excited about life, excited about um, 
like moving forward and almost that concept of, um, you know, even though there's no direct target that you see these eight of wands hitting, that concept of just being in motion um, is something that kind of is exciting for for this person. And even for this Wheel of Fortune, um, like this is almost a concept of enjoy your journey, like just keep keep on going and keep on recognizing that um, miracles will happen. So I feel like sh she's very much, uh, I guess very positive, I would say. We have here the tower. So it's interesting that you've got these positive cards here and this tower. I feel like part of this concept of miracles are endless um, and even the courage in the silver waterfall, Wheel of Fortune, it's because she has aspects of her life where she had to kind of, um, she could see that the life that was built up around her um, maybe done because of her family or done because of her you know, her past and how she was raised. It's a sense of recognizing that like divine intervention um, comes in and really exposes the cracked foundation and that there's always that opportunity to um, kind of rediscover yourself and this concept of the eight of wands of like just being in the motion. I feel like this tower moment um, helps her to you know, find this courage to recognize that she is the source of her own happiness. Um, and to a certain degree, I feel like, uh, you know, it's not like she's had a perfect life, but I feel she doesn't necessarily wallow in her own, um, I want to say her own drama, because she is trying, she's so like, connected with the people around her. Um, it's more of trying to be there for others and kind of rolling with the punches. And we have here the seven of cups. So this is a card of like dreams, illusions, and again, that concept of multiple goals. So I feel like for um, J-Hope's future spouse, she's probably has multiple like careers, jobs, someone who, like I said, is, um, more about being in the like connected and seeing what's next and so doesn't really um i want to say bind herself or um have certain expectations built up on one thing because there's that understanding that things are always changing and anytime i say that anytime there's um not anytime but she's very much aware that if things don't work out, if there's always something else, um, something else for her. So let's get more information. Let's find out more about her personality, qualities and so forth. We have Hi John, the Conqueror, Power and Command. So this card of like serious and mature, I feel like J-Hope's future spouse, this, um, this way of being emotionally connected to people, being empathetic and um, almost welcoming when there is um, kind of like facades that are being stripped down. I feel like this person has become more courageous or builds up their courage and builds up their power by knowing how strong that they are for others um, and for them for themselves and to a certain degree i i do feel like this person um this person has a community whether it's family um, like blood relatives, people that raise her, that basically help her to um, help her to like step into her own power. We have tobacco, controversy, and paradox. So I feel like with this card, it's um, 
it's almost like this messy card up here in the sense of like not necessarily um, staying in her own lane, not necessarily trying to conform. Um, and I feel like that non-confirmation, um, that non-confirmation, it's almost like, um, I was thinking it like bucking the system, but more challenging expectations, challenging um, someone's beliefs, but not necessarily in a way that is um, putting them down, but more having them see that there, there are different choices, there's different perspectives to have. And so I feel the way that they move through life is very much um, very much like I'm going to do what is for my best and highest good, even though you might have certain expectations of me. I don't think that it's necessarily something where um, there's negative drama surrounding this person, but more that they're challenging the status quo. Interesting. We have death cap mushroom, avarice, and foul play. So i get a sense that this person part of maybe even what's going on with this tower there are certain people that might be jealous um and might you know i don't want to say harm her in a way that is um like you know trying to uh beat her up or anything like that I'm, it's more like they are trying to um maybe cut her down, um, maybe even using um, certain expectations, cultural expectations, social expectations, um, you know, whatever the expectations are for whatever group to kind of um, almost shun her. But, and I feel like it has to do with the fact that she has like this confidence, has the courage to do what she wants to do, has, you know, is going against the norm, isn't really um, sticking within her lane. And then we have Hickory release and letting go. So J-Hope's future spouse, this concept of not holding on to certain expectations, being able to let go of things that no longer serve her. That's why this, when this tower comes up um, and this seven of cups here, it's a sense of there, there's nothing stronger um, than someone's belief. And it's almost like she has belief in herself and not on expectations of certain outcomes or how things will be. It's almost like she has the belief that she can like pick herself up from any situation and also able to help others who might need, you know, might need support, might need guidance as well. So let's take a look at more information here. Let's see if we can get some highlights about their life. We have introvert privacy, separate online community. So to some degree, I feel like she's not advertising that she, who she is. She's not trying to be in anybody's face. Um, she's um, not outwardly saying, I'm not going to follow your rules. I'm not going to stick to staying in the lines. It's almost a sense of that's her, her private, her personal journey. Um, so it's not like she's going to be put on blast that she's a troublemaker or anything like that. I feel like with this um, avarice foul play, the death, death cap mushroom, um, it's, it's almost a sense of like this is about competition and um, like fake friends and trying to uh, almost figure out... Um, kind of who who to trust, who to, you know, stay around, who not to stay around. We have this blind, awkward, 
unknown vision problems. So maybe his future spouse, I don't know, I doubt would be actually blind, but I think it's more like this concept of um, unknown. Like, I don't think this person is going to be famous. I feel like this person is going to be um, being someone who you wouldn't necessarily expect J-Hope to be with. Uh, this introvert and online community, separate privacy. It could be someone that he meets online, someone that he meets in one of the fan um, sites. And we have here adventure explore passion and travel so even though they keep to themselves and they don't try to like put themselves off on blast they're definitely someone who um wants to go outside of their comfort zone someone who you know with the eight of wands probably uh travels a lot has the um in a sense kind of perhaps spending time on their own um, allows them to be more courageous, um, kind of have more power and control over their own lives. We have this Imagine card here. We have Hidden. And Wish Granted. So I feel like this concept of Hidden, Blind, and Introvert is, again, that concept of um, J-Hope's future spouse not trying to be like putting themselves out there for everyone to see it's almost a sense with this imagine and wish wish granted um, it's as if they connect um, and there's like a book here and like a castle it's almost like maybe they connect because of um some story some piece of information something about uh creative writing something about a fairy tale or book um and with the wish granted it's almost a sense of like their connection and this concept of miracles are endless it's almost like the way that the way that uh, this person kind of comes onto the scene is almost like out of the blue and almost like a fairy tale type of thing. Like someone who um, is, you know, rather unknown in the world. Um, no one really knows who this person is, but comes onto the scene and all of a sudden, like, uh, you know, is in a relationship with J-Hope and it's like, oh, where did this person come from? Who is this person? And it turns out they're just... Um, not not a nobody but there's someone who hasn't tried to get his attention or tried to be like something in particular in the world it's they have gone on to do different things um and again um maybe had multiple careers maybe haven't stayed in one place long so let's kind of see what else we have here we have this card of daydream. So I feel like this, this concept of miracles, imagine, wish granted, hidden, and daydream. Um, I feel like this is something where um, his future spouse is helping him to kind of recognize like whatever he's done in the past isn't just who he is it's not like he is um you know bts j-hope from these years only and that's all he'll ever be known for it's as if she's encouraging him to like um kind of be something different or continue like dreaming and not think that's the end of the road for him we have this card of strings so I feel like to a certain to, to degree that they'll be very like connected by this concept of imagination. You've got like this, this fire here. Um, I feel like she will have a lot of um, control over him, but not necessarily in a bad way, in a way where she is kind of saying like, you also 
can have something different in your life and be amazed at what can come your way. And we have this chemistry card. So I feel like this, there's a definitely um, an attraction, a desire to be together, um, a sense of you know chemistry perhaps that he hasn't felt with many people, um, other people in general. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these cards here to take a look to see like how J-Hope's future spouse is aligning with her current life purpose. So I'm gonna pull like four cards here. Let's see what we have. So in terms of how she is kind of feeling or connecting currently with her life purpose, we have here the six of wands. So she's overcoming obstacles, um, you know, facing them with a sense of courage, a sense of victory, and knowing that she can like um, obtain things that other people might not think possible. So here you've got this person in a wheelchair who is playing basketball. So even though they don't have the use of their legs, um, they're able to play a sport. So maybe at some point in time, they didn't think they'd be able to play basketball. Other people didn't think they would, but you know, staying like kind of going beyond expectations or rules or norms or traditions. So let's see her spiritual journey um, here to master the Knight of Swords. So she is here to kind of move forward to seek out truth, to seek out um, her own truth and also to help others. It, this is kind of like, um, you know, uh, someone who, a knight to come in and save the day type of thing, to really help other people in need, to kind of do the right thing. See what she is here to offer her family, her, her community. We have the Knight of Pentacles, and this is a concept of like putting in the hard work, making your future and enjoying every step of it um, in the moment, recognizing that you are kind of creating your future and um, not not someone who's flashy. These the Knight of Pentacles is someone who is very you know practical. Um, they they're one of the slowest moving knights. So again, that concept of perhaps this is someone that um, he meets later in life. Someone who takes their time. Someone who's mature and serious, respectable and responsible. And then what she offers the planet, we have the Four of Swords. So a way to um, take time out, like almost like help people to move past, um, I want to say, hurt and maybe heartbreak. Four of Swords comes after the Three of Swords, which is usually, uh, you know, upset, despair, um, loss. And so helping people to um, kind of take some time for themselves to relax, to clear their mind. And again, that concept of the Queen of Cups being very empathetic, really connecting with people on an emotional level so that they can kind of chill out, that they can kind of um, not hold on to um, things that aren't serving them to actually heal and move forward. So I feel like this tower and this Wheel of Fortune um, is kind of like, kind of shows how she doesn't hold on to certain things, doesn't hold on to things that aren't serving her, this release and letting go. It's as if she has that ability to help other people move through that. So I'm going to pull a couple of like court cards here to see kind of um, what type of kind of job or career this person might have. We have the Queen of Swords, so you have the, the Knight of Swords here. So someone who speaks their mind, speaks their truth, um, is logical, um, practical, responsible, and then the Queen of Pentacles, and you have the Knight of Pentacles over here. So someone who is caring, um, connected to people, wants to make sure they're doing well, 
uh, I feel like what's interesting about the Queen of Swords and Queen of Pentacles, um, queens, again, are associated with that element of water, so they're receptive. Pentacles are also um, receptive in that they are associated with the element of earth. Uh, swords are associated with the element of air. So you've got um, these swords here. Um, so I feel like she is really going to be good at helping people with their um, how they think about things, how they problem solve, how they face um, fears or how they face um, problems and to really kind of um, be more confident, to have more power in themselves and not necessarily do things just to be nice. Um, and with the Queen of Pentacles, this sense of like, nurturing the things that you care about. I feel like she's going to be able to, uh, again, with this silver waterfall, um, nurture herself, um, be able to take care of her own needs, but then also be able to take care of J-Hope's needs. So I, I also get the sense of like, with these pentacles and queen of cups, um, it's almost as if, you know, her main job might be like as a, a mother figure, someone who like helps, um, you know, take care of, of the home, of the family. So I'm gonna pull a couple of other cards here. We have here Rescuer. Light attributes provide strength and support to others in crisis, acts out of love with no expectation of reward. So again, that, you know, facing their fears Shadow attributes assumes that the rescued will reciprocate, keeps the rescued one needy. It doesn't see, I think these cards kind of indicate that she is not trying to make people feel needy um, or keep them needy, but wants to help them um, maybe when they might not be able to help themselves or to help them um, recognize their own strengths so that they can help themselves in the future. And then we have this child nature card. Light attributes, friendship with animals, communication with nature spirits, shadow attributes, tendency to abuse animals, people in their environment. So I feel like it's more the light attributes, being very friendly, um, being very much, um, um, what's the word I'm thinking of? Com communicating to, uh, on, a, on a, like this queen of pentacles level, like being able to nurture your inner child and to kind of communicate um, in a way that is understood by others. I do feel, again, like that concept of this person, their main role being like a wife or a mother and not necessarily identifying with any one particular um, career path. So I'm going to pull a card to see if J-Hope and his future spouse will meet and marry within two years of j-hope finishing his military service it says don't stop so i think possibly within five years of him finishing his military service yes so five within five years of coming out of his service um he will meet and marry his future spouse. So thanks for watching this edition of Tabloid Tarot. We'll see you next time. Take care.